Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my TBR series. In the last episode, I kind of dusted off a very old character of mine, a paladin, and I hunted the tombs with him. Um, I made some mistakes because I'm not used to playing a low-level character since like six years or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. At least not a paladin. So I learned a thing or two and I uh, tried to adapt them in this new episode. Basically, I switched my spears for throwing stars. But sit back and enjoy. Alright, so we're here in the tarantula caves. I believe there's like two or three of them. I don't know if they're all connected though. So we'll have to see. I'm chewing through these tarantulas rather easy. I would figure they're harder, but well, since I have quite a pretty high distance fighting and for a level 20, 22. It's uh, it's very nice to, to kill them so easily. And I switched to throwing stars because they have a higher attack and they're lighter. I didn't actually I was a bit of a noob. Well I'm still am I still am of course, but I didn't realize back when I leveled my paladin, throwing stars were not a viable option at all. I think they were either heavy or they broke too easily or they didn't have enough attack. I'm not sure, but you you, you just use spears until you're uh, like had a high enough. Um, should I take them? Nah, fuck that. High enough level to um, to use a bow or crossbow. So I've never gotten used to throwing uh, throwing stars. Oh crap, okay, this I should be careful. I mean I can kill them quickly, but so can they. They can kill me rather quickly. I don't have an armor, still. I don't think tarantulas drop belted capes or anything, so... I will have to keep an eye out rather than equip an armor. Was that a one hit? Or well, I had to, I ha I threw a throwing star twice, but I think the second one killed him in one hit. In that case, I'll probably get a massive amount of experience. Um, as you probably could have seen at the beginning, I t uh, picked up the tarantula. Um, task so I should kill like 300 of them and I think I get extra experience and uh, I can kill the boss which is I'm not even sure what what the boss is called anymore but I think you have a fair chance of looting uh, spider silk which is quite valuable uh, so I don't and which is really nice because I don't have any money on this server So if I loot like a spider silk, I can sell it on the market and I would have a rather, I think, on Refugia they go for, what, like 8 or 9k or something. So I always forget if the if PvP servers are more expensive or uh, cheaper. But so I took a level. That's nice. Oh, and I should remember to use my uh, magic, because otherwise I will never get magic level. Because, well, offline trading is cool for um, for gaining skills, and this fast experience is, is nice for... Whoa, okay. I didn't know about this place, I think. Come on. Uh, it's nice that I can get levels so quickly, but uh, my magic level will probably stay behind in um, The fast experience is nice and I can make up for that with offline training or I already made up for that my offline training is or my my distance fighting is like 108 so I'll, I'll probably be good until level 100 or something and By that time I um, 
I'll probably have 109 or 110 or even more. I'm not saying I will ever get this character to 100. I'm just like to play um, a low level character for for a short amount of time. I'm not sure if I'm going in here. I, I'll probably stick to the tarantulas. There's no real point of concentrating on toads as they don't give me like the, the task I need. Or do they give good loot at all? So what is my experience rate? 30k an hour should take another 45 minutes to level. But I think once I stay here for a longer amount of time, uh, the experience rate will probably go up. And otherwise I'll have to switch back to the um, to the tombs. But I don't have a task for the tombs. I'm not sure if it's worth it. And for m for the money, it's probably worth sticking to tarantulas, as I'll probably get like a free 10k at the end, or eight or nine from the spider silk. And uh, doesn't the uh, boss drop like a knight armor as well, or the knight legs or something? Also, I have to make sure to keep an eye out for my uh, spears. Um, spears. I mean, my throwing stars. As they, th I think they break rather quickly. I'm not sure if they break faster than um, than spears, but they break every, like, no, they, it's not it's not a given when they break. But they have like a 10% chance of breaking, I think, which is rather high. Uh, poison spires. Why am I running away from them? I'm not gonna loot them. I was buying mana potions um, at um, in Anchorman, Anchorman, and there was somebody that threw away a couple of hundred GPs because of the cap uh, capacity, I think, and I went to pick them up. And there was this Polish dude standing next to me and uh, saying something like, um, oh, it looks like a silk, but it's not. Something in Polish, and I said, I'm sorry, I don't speak Polish. And then he private messaged me saying, poor boy. And I said, well, you know it, because I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I mean, I have like 5k on this server or something. So yeah, I'll pick up a couple of hundred gold. And I'm running back to the to the lake once more. So I'll keep trekking south, I guess. Um I I have done this on my night, I believe. But um it's so long ago. That I don't remember if all these caves are connected or not. Or that I have to run through the jungle once I cleared one spawn. Yeah, it looks like it. Does this path also run back? Oh, it's it's a dead end. I probably have to um, go up and run through the jungle. Holy shit. Maybe I should pick a corner. And keep a close eye on my health.
Okay, no, that, that, that was not too bad actually. I figured I would die more quickly, but... I'll just have to make sure not more than two monsters are attacking me. So I keep my shielding up. Okay, I run through my throwing stars rather quickly. 35, so I already wasted like 15. When I was running through, oh, when I was running through the um, through the jungle on the way here, I remembered how annoying um, the jungle can be, especially with all those small monsters like bugs and and wasps. Uh, when I just click on the map to run somewhere, you you get trapped by all these small monsters. It's really annoying. And uh, the fact that I don't have... Mm, should I take it? Probably should. That I don't have uh, Divine Caldera, I think. You know, the, the, ma the massive AoE that Paladins have. It's nice to kill all the small monsters, but you, I don't have that spell on this character, of course. Matter of fact, I don't have any attack spells, I think. It takes like level 23, which I am now, by the way. Yeah, so I probably should be able to, to get a ethere ethereal spear or something. So I can... No, I still cannot use them against stalkers, I think. You have to have a target in order to cast ethereal spear, I think. And I'm not even sure if I pronounce it correctly. And this looks like a dead end as well, or is it? Is it routing back to the lake? This look, looks like water, so maybe there's toads here. No, still a tarantula. Another one. I really feel like I'm getting more experience now than 30k. Because my target uptime is like... Much higher than a couple of minutes ago, I think. Let's see. 57k, so another level in 15 minutes. And I should remember to... Um, put off my instant messaging, so now nobody can message me unless you're in my VIP list. But since nobody that I have in my VIP list on this server actually plays anymore, I think. Nope. I think I started on this server before it got merged. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, it's Iona. And before this it was called Titania. And I think I made this character when I was hunted. So I could still play, but without being bothered by, um, by PKs. Or hunters, or whatever they were called.
Jeez, die already. Oh, by the way, the, the message I just got. I don't want to state the obvious here, but don't follow that link. I hope nobody that is watching this video actually considered it, but at least now you cannot blame me for not warning you. So if you still do it, it's your own problem. Just saying. So how many how many did I kill? Oh no, that's not the one. Quest log. Killing in the name of Tarantulas. Only 51, so I still need to do like Oh my head hurts. <laughs> no, just kidding, like six times this amount. Yep. So I'm probably gonna not going to reach it at once. I'll probably run out of throwing stars before. And I'll just walk back to the entrance that I came in and cycle through the whole dungeon once more. I don't even know if that's the most efficient way of doing it but I don't know where the others are and I as far as I see there's nobody else hunting here which is surprising actually on the refugia there's usually people botting on the, in this place or they were where when I was um, hunting there with my knight let's see yeah still a couple of meters to go what do you call the unit that is like one screen of walking space i'm not sure like these are all this the annoying creatures that i told you about it's like they all die within one hit but you cannot be bothered to click them Holy shit, it's three of them. Uh, those, f those fangs look very n nasty, by the way. Come on. So I'm getting five, six, seven, eight, eight hundred gold. Oh no, partly it was also the um, the gold that I picked up next to the potion stand. So it's not entirely the tarantulas. I don't think they drop. They do drop um, time rings, I think. And I'm not even sure, but do they drop night legs or night armor? I don't think they do, right? It's the most valuable thing they can drop is is the time ring, I think. So I'm not expecting any cool loot so far. So at what point should I switch to 
using arrows or something. Once I get a decent amount of capacity, right? And when I hunt monsters that are not so fast, probably. So I can make sure I keep distance and I don't need my shielding as much. I think that's the strategy. And at some point I can start using royal spears as well. I think it's level 25. But I'm not sure if they're higher in attack than these throwing stars. cannot outrun them once they sprint. It's not not a big deal, but it, they they still give me the the giant spider vibe at level 50 or something. Like you know you can handle one, but you really have to be on your toes. In this case, I don't. I mean, I just was was surrounded by three of them and I I had to heal every now and then, but that's about it. It was not a life or death situation at all. Maybe I could make it like a loot bag or something. With... Um, like 200... 300 throwing stars, then drag them to the tar pit tomb. Ah, uh, different one, I guess. One without ghosts or one without stalkers, pretty please. And then st camp that spot for like two hours and get like three or four levels, I guess. That could be a nice idea, but. I mean, it's a bit of a risk, of course. And walking with a loot bag is also kind of annoying. But I also th think it's funny how Everything feels so much less um, snappy, I guess. It feels like changing direction of your character takes like like two seconds or something. I mean, granted this um, underground kind of soil is not doing wonders for your uh, character speed, but because it's such a low level, it feels very slow and clunky and not have I have to remember not to get distracted by the toads and to keep my mana going what magic level am I anyway? 10, okay, that's more than I expected. Not that it really matters, but... I mean, out of the top of my head, my main paladin, Morana, is like magic level, what, 18 or something? I'm not sure though, 18 or 19? I think the difference between 15 and 19 is at the same level. If you would compare at the same level, it's 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 not that gr not that big, I think. No, 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 no! Don't go to the toads. They're not worth it. So 
so what is my experience rate right now? 53, it's dropping again. It's probably because I had to run through the, through the jungle. And at the end of this cave there's a lot of tarantulas again, so it's probably going up again. So safe to say, at level 22, with all the bonus experiences that you can get, except for like a double experience weekend or something, or voucher. But just the regular, uh, you're below level, level 50 and we want every low level to be at least a medium level. Uh, bonus and with the double stamina bonus or the, the the happy hour you can get like a solid 55k experience per hour if you have 108 distance fighting and otherwise you can still get like f what is it 50k 45k so it's it's rather neat I don't think it's too bad for uh, for low level. Let's see what... Oh, we're already at 25 minutes of recording. So I'll probably finish this round and then uh, end this episode. Mm, what's up here, by the way? I've not... Ooh. Holy shit. Okay, no, now it's getting... I have to be on alert again. Come on. Can I circle him or her? No, apparently not. It's too fast. No, now I can. So there's an exit as well over here, I guess. Ooh, that was almost a one hit. Nope, another one. Maybe if I just ignored the whole looting, I could make more experience per hour. But like I said, I'm a broke bastard on this server. Also on Refugia, but not as much. Not nearly as much. Also, I try to buy recovery, like Utura, I think, for my paladin, or for this paladin. Turns out you have to be level 40 to, to buy it. So until level 40, you're basically doomed to Exura and Exura Gran. Come on, come on. Don't despawn because of luring or something. He was slowing down and I thought, oh crap. This will be the anti-luring mechanic kicking in. There we go. Come on, attack already. Oh, it's missing. Why the fuck is it missing so much? There we go. Again, missing. There we go. It's pretty frustrating to miss so much. Not even... I th ah, there we go. Level 24. Nice. I think the experience bonus decreases once you near level 50 more and more. Does it make sense? Like you get less bonus every level that you get, basically. Ah, 
make sure I spend my mana. I should have done it before taking a level, of course, but... So after I died and at the Annihilator, somebody actually spelled it, um, what is it called, phonetically in the comments, like Annihilator. So when I died there with my main paladin, I read up on how to do it, <laughs> like properly, like prep prepare myself for the next attempt. I'm not sure when it's going to be though, but just so I knew the basics. Apparently it's a tactic to um, get like close to gaining a level. And then starting, oh by the way I should check, uh, check my experience rate. 50, 52. But get a l get close to leveling before entering the annihilator. And um, so once you kill one demon, you get your health bar back. I thought that was a pretty clever, clever tactic. Especially when you're struggling to keep up the healing required to not die because of all the pressure that the demons put on your health bar and mana bar and whatsoever. I thought it was a very um, creative solution to a problem. What? 360. Ah, he probably used... Um, what is it called? Fleet footed or something? Like the Paladin Super Haste. Ladies and gentlemen, that will be it for this episode. I kind of forgot to post a loot pick or to create one, so I cannot show you a loot pick of this hunt. Regardless, please remember to leave a rating and a comment if you haven't already. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for watching. My name is Morana and I hope to see you next Monday. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to keep up my upload schedule. <laughs>